Welcome back to NAZ Today. My name is Lindsay Ridgeway and I will be your sports reporter for the night. Uh, winter sports are in full swing here in Flagstaff and I got the chance last week to speak to Cognino Wrestling head coach Mike Schmieder on his hopes for their upcoming season. The legacy that we've got in front of us here at Coconino is uh, to always be a, a top 10 team in a bad year and be a top five team in a, in a good year and uh, win the section and put people on the podium at the state tournament. So. Staying with Coconino, both boys and girls basketball teams won against the 5A Apollo Hawks last night. The boys headed to Glendale to take on the Hawks with senior guard Memphis James, leading the pack with 29 points to beat Apollo 65-50. to Back up here in Flagstaff, the girls came out strong with a 24-11 lead in the first half and kept that going, outscoring the Hawks 19-7 in the second half with a final score of 53-23. The girls will be home again this week on Thursday to host the Thunderbird High School, while the boys will head to Peoria to play the Panthers tomorrow. Moving to the other side of town, both of the Flagstaff high school teams are coming off of a loss last Friday. The 1-3 and boys team fell to Mesquite 106-42, but will be home tomorrow at 7 p.m. to take on Cactus Shadow. The girls also played Mesquite on Friday, and the 2-2 two two team fell in a close finish 47-43. The Lady Eagles will be away Wednesday at Cactus Shadow. Switching to college hoops, both teams are on the road this week. Coming off a 76-65 win against former Big Sky School Southern Utah, the women's team is headed to Northern California to take on the Fresno State Bulldogs Thursday, and then they will head down south to take on the Cal Poly Mustangs on Saturday the 10th. The men are also in sunny California taking on the University of Pacific Tigers in Stockton after falling to the Pepperdine Waves 88-69 last week. The Lumberjacks will be back home on Saturday at 2 p.m. in the Royal Activity Center to take on your Utah Valley Wolverines. Well, that's all I have for you tonight for Northern Arizona Sports, but we'll be back after the break for your weather recap with Tori Smith.